Hello BitsFood, this is Craig from bitsfox.co.uk here and in this video I'm going to show you how I convert up some Primaris sized sanguinary guard for my blood angels. So yeah, let's just get straight into it and we'll hit the desk. So here I have two halves from one of the Snapfit Assault Intercessors from the Indomitus sprue, but you can use the multi-part kit which should be out by the time this video comes out. And I'm just going to clip the body off just above the belt, so you want to keep the belt intact but the rest of the body you can just snip off completely, like so. Oh, I do apologise, I cut off the screen a little bit there, but as you can see, once that's off, the legs will still stick together pretty nicely. And I'm going to take this 3D printed torso and use that, but you can just use the torsos from the actual Sanguinary Guard, and I did that on one of my Assault Intercessors there. So they do work, they're not perfect, but once it's all painted up, they actually look alright. Um, but I'm just going to use this 3D printed one. And I will put a link to where you can find the files for them in the description. And this is how it looks. And yeah, it's simply just going to add a load of sanguinary guard bits on now. So, we've got the arms, I'm going to put on the shoulder pad, the head, and I've also got the backpack minus the wings at this stage. And we'll show you in the next bit um, how to put the wings on, because if you're using a different torso, they won't go on the same way they would on the original kit. So that's all glued up now. You can see it's really starting to take shape. So we're going to take the wings. So for the wings you need to just clip this little piece off the end here, like so, and that'll give you a nice flat surface. And then the wings should just go in the little gap between the torso and the backpack. And I'm using super glue here as I have a resin torso piece. So you could leave a miniature at this stage, but I'm just going to go one step further and I'm going to add a little thing to its knee pad. So here I've got one of the original legs from the Sanguinary Guard sprue. And I'm going to take some Orimaru, also known as Instant Mold. And I send some hot water in my little Beatles mug. And this um, softens up and you can make a little push mould out of it. Now if you don't have this you could just use some green stuff to make a push mould as well. And I'm just going to push the leg into it. And it's a bit hard to see on camera but it does leave a very nice imprint. And then next up it is just a case of taking some green stuff and pushing that in to get your mould. Now I'm going to make several of these. And um, some will go on the other miniatures, but I make I always make extra just in case some of them don't come out as nice as I would like. So yeah, I leave that overnight to dry. And then once it's dry, we can add it to the knee pad. So you can see, um, it's a pretty decent size even for these Primaris legs. And I'll just take my clippers. And just um, chop off the knee pad just so it's nice and flush. And then that'll stick on there like so. And as it's from green, uh, made from green stuff, um, I use super glue here to stick that on. And there we go, our little sanguinary guard is complete. So yeah, nice quick and simple one. Not too difficult, but I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway. And yeah, I'm really happy how this turned out. And I also added a little accessory pouch to his side as well. There might be odd little gaps that need filling or just covering up with additional pouches and such but yeah I'm really happy with the final result on this one and yeah I went ahead and made a whole squad of these. So yeah the rest of the squad were built in exactly the same way just adding the primary bits to the torso and that. You'll notice also I have a um, Bitsbox logo on one of the shoulder pads that was 3D printed for us by WePrint Miniatures. But yeah, really happy with how this squad turned out and they're going to look very cool alongside all the other Primaris miniatures in the army. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video then please do feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.